finally. So we're at Blossom Rock and we're in Apache Junction now. For those that are local and you hear the word Apache Junction, you think RVs and trailer parks. Right. And we're not anywhere near that. In fact, if I can turn this around, you can see the Superstition Mountains are way, way out there. And uh, Last Dutchman. This, I think this, all this acreage out here was originally bought by D.R. Horton and then they parceled it out. Okay. It's huge. I can't remember how many acres they bought, but, um, and we thought way out there, but then when you look at where we're at in proximity to the, the Mesa Gateway Airport and the, the big Apple building and Google and all that fun stuff, this is probably going to fill up. It's so. the up and coming. I think it's been needed out in Apache Junction, honestly. Not a lot of construction for many years, even though, even though the valley is full of new construction right now. So they have two uh, series. They're called one of them Laurel, and then the other one's called Mariposa. Okay. So the Laurel are the smaller starter homes. Home sites um, are a little bit smaller, anywhere from 489 base price all the way up to 535 base price. And then the Mariposas start right, you know, in the middle of that and go upward of that in price point. And she said they're offering like 6% that you can use for either rate buy downs or, or upgrades? Correct, 6% total towards closing costs or rate buy down. And a door code. Electronics and me don't work out. Now everybody on YouTube has the door code. <laughs> Laredo model. Okay. In Laurel. This is the smallest footprint of all of them? No, it's in no. the middle. In the middle? Okay. Yep, yeah, this is in the middle. 2386 square feet. It can be made into a four bedroom, three bath with the two car garage. I think you, you lose a bedroom and you can gain a tandem garage in this one, but it's got the open floor concept. So there's a little different where you've got a dining area out there, but then they also have a separate dining area in here, which I suppose you could turn into anything. Or a den, or a that's den, the yeah. fourth bedroom. Okay, okay. So it'd be a bedroom slash den, or dining, yeah, formal dining. And the one unique thing about uh, these guys is they actually make it pretty easy in regards to upgrades. They give you kind of a simple package where you're not worried about, well, at the end of the day, what's it going to cost me? Oh, okay. Because, yeah, you can go to the design center and spend all your money. Uh-huh. Yeah, they, they kind of dumb it down <laughs> for the sake of words, right? Uh, so full shower, two sinks, still walk-in closet. Of course, this one does have more upgrades than, like we both, we've said, more upgrades than usual. Yeah. yeah it's usually the lighting. <laughs> <laughs> this, and this headboard is strapped in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the back here is in the footprints. This one has the upgraded patio. They have a, a standard patio on most of their specs and then the extended patio on a few. Pretty small, pretty small lip, but the, I would imagine the lot premiums are a lot more if they're facing the superstition with nothing blocking them, right? Right. So, just to give you a little perspective where we're at here, I'm not gonna So Blossom Rock, the sun, but... uh, HOA is 125 a month. Okay. 125 a month. And then in November, they're supposed to open one of the biggest park portions. The pool and community center won't be done until November 2024. That's well, next month. Uh, I'm sorry, 2020, 2025. Okay, okay. So the big parks open 2024 now. And then 2025 next year will be the community center. This is a My Command Smart Home. And so control your home by simply speaking to Siri, Alexa, Google. It's that easy. Give it a try anywhere you see. We should try that. You know what you want to do? Here's the trick. You got anybody that has a um, an Alexa in their home? Hey Alexa, are you listening? 
I don't hear it. Alexa, turn the living room light off. No, that's not. So it. is it Siri? It says Siri, Siri? Alexa, or Google. Okay. So which one is it? Hey Siri. I don't hear anything. Yes. Hey Alexa. So we don't know what we're doing, but <laughs> what I do with my brother all the time is, well, he did it once. I was leaving his house. He had already left. So I walked up to his Alexa and I go, Alexa, play Bing Crosby's White Christmas at 3 p.m. My brother came back to the house and he said, why the hell would we have a Christmas song? Oh, <laughs> oh they left it. Mm-hmm. So yeah, available option, bedroom number five and bath number three in lieu of tandem. Okay. How many homes are in this development, do you know? Okay, no, I don't. I need to find out. Or you, they anticipated, you mean? Yeah. Wow. It, it was anticipated to take 10 years to build out. Yeah. Here. If it's anything like Eastmark, I think Eastmark had. Eastmark got put together fairly quickly, but uh, this is this is a big footprint out here. And this is actually going up faster than I thought it would. It was only about 18 months or two years ago they announced the, the big land purchase. This is a two-story, right? So this is the Laurel Ponderosa. Two-story, 2,800 square feet. It can be maxed out if you get rid of garage to 3,100 square feet. Okay. So the oh. garage, full bedroom, and ooh, fun. What's the base price for this one? Base price is on the website. Serious XM, why Okay. Kind of a kind of galley style. All in line, pantry. They did a full patio on this one. I'm sure that's enough great. Extended outdoor room. Very fancy outdoor room with okay. papers. A fire pit. Now, none of the new builds come with pool packages anymore like they used to. No, nope, that all. When I moved here in '96, um, we had a, like a nine thousand dollar credit to use Shasta pools. Could you imagine to build a pool for $9,000 now? Well, it cost us more than that, but 9,000 helped. Yeah. So, yeah, now they're about 100K, right? Yep, oh yeah. Huh. And the builders won't even let you touch the lot until after closing. Yeah. They used to have contract, yeah, some kind of a escrow hold back. So they have this set up as a loft with laundry room upstairs, brilliant bathroom and the, the master bedroom upstairs probably mm-hmm. on the other side so. yeah master bedroom i'm sure that's probably an option for a third bedroom good size master oh okay yeah oh we can see some santan views santan views from the two-story so in arizona that's... we call those mountains <laughs> <laughs> we're very excited uh, about our mountains bulging lumps of coal <laughs> so. oh, big closet this one doesn't have okay. none of their homes have the tower or the shower tub yeah just the shower so I missed the downstairs bedroom yeah there's bed. an extra full like it's almost like a casita. It's got a full bath in there. On oh, this two-story. Huh. So a full bedroom, like a living space, full bath right next to the garage. I bet you you give up your third car garage for that. Yeah, yeah. But another bedroom and another either half bath or full bath here too. Yeah, they got it set up as a full bath. No light. I'm going to fix that. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so I I don't like to film the sales guys because I don't like to put them on the hook. But 
Uh, but that was that was interesting. So what we found out was they're selling about five a month, mm -hmm. and he said they're selling more dirt than they are the spec homes, the complete ones, sense. which surprised me, and it says it surprised him as well. But they're selling more dirt. And he it said, makes sense though. And now that he's a lot that? of them are cash. Yeah. That surprised me. But as you heard me say on the channel from time to time, this is a year of the uh, buyer revenge. He had some stories, didn't he? He did have some stories. Uh huh. You want yep. twenty-five grand off? Nope, not nope. going to work. Not going to work. What do you mean, no? You know, <laughs> oh, this is now okay. So this is the next gen, yeah. Uh, so separate entrance. And a full kitchen. So this is base price fifty or five hundred thousand. I can't say the fives. Five hundred thousand five. Five 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 five. <laughs> 2,400 square feet, four bedroom, three bathrooms. Five, nine, 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 Okay. One story single. So they will wiggle on base price, but not very much. Right. Which builders won't. Because if they lower the base price, then everybody's going to want the base price lowered. And people find out. Yep. And so, but they'll give you... Some they, wiggle room on washers, dryers, uh, fixtures, and the like. They and, incentivize uh, to get you here, and then there's little wiggle room on specs. That's it. Yeah. So he's got, let's see if they have the specs available. So these homes are usually pre wired for surround sound, but. Um, People don't really use that kind of a sound system much anymore. They just use a high quality sound bar. Yeah, nowadays everything's wireless. Yeah. Well, they don't have walls to make it look a lot bigger. So there'll be a wall here. You will have a wall. You don't share your, your, yeah. your, your lot. <laughs> your dog with their dog. <laughs> Dinner's at the neighbor's tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Dinner, me or you, Jim? <laughs> I put one of these in my RV. I love it. The fireplace. built-in fireplace. And it's actually got heat. I use that instead of the RV heater. Here's the master bedroom. Wow, look at that bathroom. Mm -hmm. Smaller shower though. But at deep. least it's got both. It probably Not has both. the option for that deep, for that super shower. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Now you walk into the bathroom first and then the bedroom. I always pick the funnest stuff for decorating. Yeah, yeah. Blue tape. That's what it's going to look like when you do a final walkthrough with your builder. I do blue tape. And as you watch Dylan on my channel, um, he does those pre drywall inspections. And he had one on Instagram today where, again, he was showing this um, plumbing that's for your refrigerator, the water mm -hmm. coming in. And it's, it's on a beam, you know, two by four. And it has nails from the... Uh, plywood poking at two different spots hadn't gone through yet but he said but as that one that hose starts to vibrate you're going to get a slow leak yep. he said and you're not going to figure that out until weeks or months after you've moved in uh, that's great news so it's worth it getting that pre-drywall inspection and you can't do that on a spec home nope right i'm gonna do that on you by dirt And they'll let you in. You, you have to have an inspector that, you know, I mean, sometimes they'll push back, but they will let you in. Okay, well, that was the Avellino. 2,400 square feet. This is a so, giant two story. This is a two story, 2,800 square feet called the Prado. 587.99. Nine 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 nine, or did they just nine nine seven? Nine nine seven. So Prado has washer dryer downstairs with a full bath in this bedroom, shower. Okay. Um, this here, this looks like a this is where all the cabling goes, isn't it? Yep. This That's is the, what uh, they used to call the structured cabling. Yep. Smart okay. system technology. So you plug your modem, 
your router all in and it's already strung through the rafters. Powder room into your living space. Oh, master bedroom's down on this one. Very tall ceilings. I would say, what do you think, 15 feet, 20 feet? At least 20. At least 20, huh? You don't want to ask me, I don't get that. Well, 10 and 10, that makes sense, because most of them nowadays are 9 foot, 10, 9. Somebody asked me a couple weeks 15, ago how 15, deep yes, the swimming 20. pool was, and I said, uh, I don't know, jump in. <laughs> I got the uh, it's a big island. evil eye the rest of the day. So. <laughs> jump in. Jump in. <laughs> Why not? Second master? Is that yep, what they've got the super shower. Super shower. Oh, look what the rain had to do it. Yeah. Okay. So the one thing you can always tell on the back of most of their price sheets is what they consider included features and then what they consider uh, upgrades. So standard features nowadays, smart homes, are a big promoter. Structured wire panel, wireless access point, WAP, CAT6, included smart thermostat, smart doorbell. And then they're all energy rated too. Energy Star SRP and softless gas, lawn and insulation, low E windows. All the appliances are energy efficient. And a lot of the lights are LEDs. So full bath with a little loft and then full bath and two more bedrooms, closets, walk-in closets. Some of the Pulte homes I've been in had like a cutout section in the ceiling showing you their insulation. In the garage, they used yeah. to do that where you'd walk through kind of their showroom. Yeah. So this is nine foot ceilings on the first floor, nine foot ceilings on the second floor. So. And then maybe there's a foot in between, so that's what it turns into. That nice accent lighting in the kitchen area there. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Did you notice anything about the driveway? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> As we're walking on this path, I'm like, this is strange. So, so <laughs> in Arizona, we plant things in front of our garage door. Um, this is, Welcome uh, to the Wild West. <laughs> <laughs> These nice succulent plants hold up very well under tires. <laughs> <laughs> With the rock speaker. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I walked right past that. Uh, it was entertaining. I'm like, there's something wrong about this. It's not checking the boxes. We need an inspector. Yeah. <laughs> can, we get, yeah. can we get an opinion? Yeah. Ring doorbell announces our delivery. Uh, all right, it's called the Park Lane model. Base price is just shy of 590000 And it's Single level, uh, twenty four seventy three on the square footage. Feels bigger already. It does. You can tell the ceiling height in this. Oh. So I hope people are picking up on decorating ideas. It's the funnest part. <laughs> there we go again with the separate room. Uh huh. Den or office or option to add some doors, power room. Yeah, this feels a lot. Twenty four hundred. Yeah, twenty four hundred, twenty four seventy three. The park lane feels much bigger, doesn't it? Yeah, they put a lot of the space in this great room. This couch, it just does not look comfortable unless you're laying down. It's double couches. Yeah, it's too deep. Well, and I think it's ten foot ceilings. 
that other model we were in were not in. These just felt tall. Super shower. All right. Rain head. Double sinks. Here's the biggest upgrade in homes. One of the biggest upgrades, these sliders. Anywhere between, depending on the builder, 12,000. Oh, these, yeah. Upwards of 20,000 for a slider. Now this would not be my choice of a home because Arizona, you don't want your backyard facing west. Is it Glad just, it's unbearable. It is, especially in the heat of the summer. Yeah. West facing. You'd have here. to put something here to block it because it's just, um, and you'd be hanging, pulling those grapes. Yep. Huh, every, the every night, the kitchen, the kitchen, the yeah, and these are not made to pull shut. So, but uh, that I mean, and we're sitting here now. What's it? Five o'clock, and so five twenty. Yeah, so it's the sun's beaming right at you. It's not a hundred million degrees today, but boy, it can be terrible. Yeah, <laughs> you got just the right angle. I know it's literally right. <laughs> Well, that was a uh, it was a good good tour. I, uh, I I like these spaces. I'm not sure. I would probably use it as an office if I needed one, um, but it's just a nice little relaxing area to have anyway. Just yeah. for... well, with these great rooms, if you've got you know commotion in this room, it's always nice to have a little place to distance yourself from yeah. that or allow two different kind of functions to go on. Kids in one space, adults in the other. There you go. Another smart home space, that's not talking to us. Which Are one? you? Is this a smart? Uh, no, what was the other place that had? IQ panel. That's okay. IQ panel. <laughs> As you stare at it and go, what do I do with this thing? <laughs> <laughs> it's testing my IQ. So. Well, that is Blossom Rock. It's not all of it, but it's uh, uh, out in Ray Road and Ironwood. Ironwood. Ray so. and Ironwood, just east. Now there's David Weekly out here, TriPoint Homes out here. So maybe next time we'll take some tours through there and pop you guys over to those models. If there isn't, if there's something that we haven't covered, uh, be sure and let us know, and uh, we'll we'll uh, see what we can do to get the questions answered for you. See ya.